we just had a huge storm roll through here, very unusual. But look at these clouds. It, it's all clouds all around, but you can see these clouds are pointing. It, it's, it's really weird. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm sure there's some kind of a meteorology term for it or a science term, but they're moving so fast. I don't know if you can see that on camera. They were estimating that the storm was actually moving through at about uh, 65 to 80 miles per hour. There's been an enormous, ooh, we just saw that. There's been an enormous amount of lightning, just crazy amount of lightning. In fact, we had a strike, oh, uh, it was probably about a quarter mile from here, which seems like a good distance, but it's actually not. And it was enough to um, shake our windows really bad. And uh, this has just been a really interesting storm. It only lasted for about 30 minutes, and it actually caught me off guard. I was actually sitting down editing some uh, more videos for YouTube, and it, there was a big crash of lightning, and I looked out the window because we had the air conditioner on. Uh, I looked out the window, and it was almost totally dark, and I just never noticed it. And then this uh, intense wind just rolled right through, and it was weird because I was looking down at the lake, at that time and I could see the rain actually start at one end of the lake and actually come across to the other end of the lake. It was really weird. I've never seen anything like that before. So it rolled through really fast. You can see that it's still picking up some steam. They're actually not calling for anything uh, as far as tornadoes or anything, at least not yet. But these clouds are just moving through so fast and the lightning is, is crazy. They, uh, they said there were some 400 lightning strikes in this county alone and uh, yeah I've never seen anything like this before there's a big set of storms that's just just pummeling the tri-state area right now and we just got uh, a little taste of it I'm not sure if there's actually gonna be any more but look at how fast those clouds are moving I know it's hard to tell on camera especially this old camera but these clouds are moving really fast and uh, it's real unusual and you've got these you know, behind that tree right there, you've got these clouds that are coming down that almost look like they might be forming a funnel. Fortunately, they're not. They don't have any um, uh, tornado watches or warnings or anything going on right now. There are a lot of fires. Uh, a lot of trees have been hit. You can probably hear the, um, the police and fire trucks in the background. But uh, a lot of roads have been blocked. A lot of trees went down. Um, this tree that was right down here, this one here was moving, it was swaying back and forth. I could actually hear it crack. Um, just a crazy thing. If you look right off into the distance there, it's, you know, sunlight is coming through. So it's really weird. It's a really weird storm that rolled through, or is still rolling through. There's actually no rain right now whatsoever. It's, it's, uh, it's strange, but the lightning, as you can see, or you may have seen, I didn't know if I got it on camera or not, but the lightning has just been intense. And, uh, you know, I've always liked thunderstorms. I know not everybody likes thunderstorms. I've always liked thunderstorms. The closest I ever actually came to a lightning strike was when I was actually at Disney World in Florida. And uh, we, there was a big storm that was rolling through, and we were hiding in this uh, jewelry shop. And it was one of those open jewelry shops. It was just had a canopy over it and so on. And we were standing there to not get rained on. And literally right across the street or right across the pathway, there was a restaurant. It was actually one of those boat restaurants. And the top of the restaurant got hit by lightning. And I'm telling you, if you've never been close enough to lightning for you to actually feel the lightning, actually feel the charge, it's an experience that you will not ever forget. And... Not only did probably everybody in the area crap their pants, but um, you felt extremely vulnerable after that, after that initial shock of, um, you know, that lightning, because it happens instantaneous, you know, and it's not so much the, the flash of light, it's the, the crash, it's that sonic boom that comes after the lightning. So, really, really amazing, the power of lightning, and, you know, I've got these panels out here, my solar panels, and I've always thought to myself, you know, if lightning would strike those, what would happen, but... The fact is, is that, um, you know, lightning can strike anywhere. I'm not saying that it's not going to, but uh, the chances of them hitting these panels up underneath this canopy are, are, are pretty slim. But even still, I know people who have panels um, who definitely properly ground them. I have mine grounded, um, so I'm not worried about that. I don't. Un I unfortunately don't have a straight copper ground, um, but, wow, that was cool. It spread all the way out through the sky. This is actually pretty amazing. I'm actually going to go on the deck since it's actually not raining right now. 
but uh, this is our screen here. I don't know if you can see that. It, it got just absolutely pummeled. It's really dark out. Uh, I've got the contrast um, on the camera as high as it'll go. So it's actually darker than the camera is actually making it out to be. But uh, just look at these clouds. Just look at these amazing clouds. These are just rolling through here. It's, uh, it's just... I don't know. It's amazing. I mean, the, the, the potential destruction of this storm. And I'm looking at all these clouds that are just coming straight for us, this big batch of clouds. And I know that there's lightning in those clouds. That's what's amazing about it is that it's coming straight for us. And yet it's not raining at all. And that's what's really weird about this. Um, even some ducks are coming out to, to see what's going on. But... Uh, doesn't look like any trees that's just a sh bunch of shrub over there doesn't look like any trees that I can see actually came down but this tree right here was really taking the brunt um, there's some more ducks down there but uh, yeah look at that look at that I know it's hard to tell on camera you know but uh, just amazing absolutely amazing you can hear the constant um, sirens in the background they're just uh, there's reports of fires everywhere um, down trees blocking roads and highways and there's actually power outages fortunately we did not get hit by power outage the wind is actually starting to pick up and I'm starting to feel uh, drops now so probably getting ready for uh, round two here um, there's a gopher right there that's amazing I don't know what the gopher is uh, doing out but you probably can't see him all that well he's sliding across the water there Excuse me, that is not a gopher. I'm mistaken, that's actually a beaver. Well, I don't know why I said gopher. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway. Um, yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit now, and the wind is picking up. So we might be in for another round of this, uh, this storm. Wow, just look at that. It's just crazy. <clears throat> it really is crazy, and yet it's, you know, sunny over there. Just weird. Absolutely weird. Yeah, I got some branches that came down. You can see there's some leaves and so on. Nothing too major, but I'm sure that in the, in all the other places it's pretty bad. So, just thought I would share a little unusual YouTube kind of vlog deal of this uh, storm. I wish I could have gotten a stationary camera out, but unfortunately the rain was so bad that I didn't want to risk uh, damaging the camera. Wow, 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 wow. That was right over there. Wow, that was bright. It was bright, but it was kind of far away because I still haven't heard it yet. It's just above that tree over there. Yeah, that was far away, but really bright. Pretty fair amount of lightning. If only you guys could feel that. It's like somebody's beating on a drum over there. I'm sure that you guys know what um, the sound of a lightning strike is, but when they're in just the right spot, it's not the crash you hear. It's like that aftershock. It's like that deep, rumbly bass drum that's rolling through. That's what you uh, hear, and you feel it more than you hear it. The ducks obviously don't care about it right now. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm sure that we'll get a couple more close strikes. Um, they, Like I said, they weren't calling for any tornadoes or anything, which is, it's unusual. Uh, we've had a really cold, I wouldn't say cold, but we've had a much cooler than normal um, summer. So we have not actually had much in the way of severe weather, especially tornadoes. Those, I don't think we've had any tornadoes touch down here in the tri-state area. Maybe I'm wrong about that for this year, for 2014, but certainly not in Michigan. Um, the sirens have not come on a single time all year, and usually we get about three, four good uh, scares with uh, tornadoes, but nothing this year. It's just been so so much cooler than normal. Uh, <clears throat> now it's just a, a gray sky, and surprisingly, my cat is out here. He's usually pretty afraid of this kind of stuff, especially the water. But, uh, yeah, you can, I can see the lightning reflecting off of the buildings across the street or across the lake. Uh, just amazing. It really is amazing. 
I love these storms, but you know, they're, they're also dangerous at the same time. So, okay, I've rambled on for 11 minutes, and probably pretty boring, but uh, I'll catch you guys later.